Never go to bed without praying this powerful prayer. Before you go to bed, always remember to pray to thank God for the winding up day and to commit the night to his hands. The art of giving God thanks for who he is, for what he has done, for what he is doing, and for what he is still going to do is our duty, our obligation, and a form of worship to him that is very pleasing to God and acceptable in his sight. As a matter of fact, besides being our duty and obligation, it is also a way of honoring him as our father and of showing good behavior towards God as our father and maker. And apart from those, it is also commanded. Yes, a commandment. In Psalms 105, verse 1, the Bible says, "Oh, give thanks to the Lord. Call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the peoples." That sounds instructional. And in Psalms 100, verse 4, The Bible says, "Enter into his gates with thanksgiving, and into his courts with praise. Be thankful to him and bless his name." Here, giving God thanks is described as an entry protocol or behavior into God's presence. And in Psalms 92, verse 1, where the Bible says, "It is good to give thanks to the Lord and to sing praises to your name, O Most High." It also sounds obligatory. In 1 Chronicles chapter 16, verses 8 through 15, the Bible says, "Oh, give thanks to the Lord. Call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the peoples. Sing to him, sing psalms to him. Talk of all his wondrous works. Glory in his holy name. Let the hearts of those rejoice who seek the Lord. Seek the Lord in his strength. Seek his face evermore." Remember his marvelous works which he has done. His wonders and the judgments of his mouth. O seed of Israel his servant. You children of Jacob, his chosen ones. He is the Lord our God. His judgments are in all the earth. Remember his covenant forever. The word which he commanded for a thousand generations. Now, when is the best time to do it? And what times are most ideal? Scripturally and in all honesty, God deserves our thanks at all times. But when we wake up and go to bed, it feels so compelling and mandatory to thank and worship our God. Hence, the Bible says in Psalm 55, verse 17, "Evening and morning and at noon, I will pray and cry aloud, and he shall hear my voice." So we must never forget to pray in the morning, afternoon, and especially evening to appreciate and thank God for his love and benevolence toward us his children therefore never go to bed without praying this prayer prayer is teachable and learnable hence the disciples of the lord jesus christ asked him in luke 11 verse 1 to teach them how to pray luke chapter 11 verse 1 now it came to pass as he was praying in a certain place when he ceased that one of his disciples said to him lord teach us to pray as John also taught his disciples therefore pray in this manner before going to bed father in the name of jesus christ thank you for the day thank you for your protection guidance and deliverance during the day thank you for your efforts in business for the day thank you for your provisions for the day thank you for the welfare and well-being of my household family and loved ones Lord, indeed, you have done well today. I am grateful to you, and I say thank you in Jesus mighty name. Amen. Dear Father Lord, now that I want to retire to bed, likewise members of my family, household, and loved ones, Father Lord, I ask, like the psalmist, Lord, deliver us from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. Cover us with your feathers and place us under your wings. For I have placed my trust in thy power and truth. Lord, let your truth be my shield and buckler. Lord, protect and shield me so that I will not be afraid of the terror of the night or the arrow that flies during the day. Nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. That even if a thousand shall fall at my side and 10,000 at my right hand, it shall not come near me. Lord, let no evil befall me. nor allow any plague to come near my dwelling 
Give your angels, Lord, charge over me to keep me in all my ways. Let them bear me up in their hands, lest I dash my foot against a stone. Lord, put your angels in charge of me, my family, and my household so that even if we walk on the lion and the adder, the young lion and the dragon, no harm or harm shall come to us. In the name of Jesus Christ. And Lord, because we have set our love on you, deliver me, my family, and my loved ones from every evil of the night and every machination of the devil and his cohorts, set us on high, Lord, because I have known your name. Lord, please grant that whenever I call on you, you will answer me. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. More so, dear Father Lord, according to your word in Job chapter 33, verses 14 through 18, which says, For God may speak in one way, or in another. Yet man does not perceive it. In a dream, in a vision of the night. When deep sleep falls upon men. While slumbering on their beds. Then he opens the ears of men. And seals their instruction. In order to turn man from his deed. And conceal pride from man. He keeps back his soul from the pit. And his life from perishing by the sword. Dear Father Lord, in my sleep tonight, Give me guidance and directions in my dreams and visions, show me great and mighty things that I do not know. As you promised in your word of Jeremiah, chapter 33, verse 3, saying, Call to me, and I will answer you, and show you great and mighty things, which you do not know. Father, let this be my experience as I go to bed tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father Lord, like Job, as your word says in Job chapter 1, verse 10. Have you not made a hedge around him, around his household, and around all that he has on every side? You have blessed the work of his hands, and his possessions have increased in the land. Lord, make a hedge over my house, and all that you have blessed me with. In the name of Jesus Christ. Dear Lord, according to your word in Proverbs 18, verse 10, the Bible says Lord, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run to it and are safe. Therefore, dearest Heavenly Father, I run with my family and loved ones to the strong tower of your name tonight. Lord, protect us, guard us, and deliver us all from every evil. In the name of Jesus Christ. Dear Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, I ban and bind every devil and his demons from operating in and around my vicinity. In the name of Jesus Christ. For your word says in Matthew 16, verse 19. And I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Therefore, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, by the power and authority conferred on me by your word, I bind every devil or demon of nightmares. I bind every incubus and succubus, I bind every demon of sickness, death, and disease. In the name of Jesus Christ. I cover my family and every member of my household. In the blood of Jesus. I decree and declare that no evil shall befall us. In the name of Jesus Christ. I forestalled and frustrated every enchantment, manipulation, and abracadabra intended to harm or hurt me while I slept. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, give your angels charge over me, as you promised. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, cause me to sleep in peace and serenity, without any form of harassment by the forces of darkness. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, in accordance with your word, I release unto myself and my family peace, joy, and divine security. In the name of Jesus Christ. In accordance with your word of Job, chapter 22, verse 28, which says, You will also declare a thing, and it will be established for you. So light will shine on your ways. Lord, I decree and declare this night a night of my remembrance, the night that I will be remembered for good, for honor, for promotion, and for divine help. In the name of Jesus Christ. Dear Lord, tonight, cause all the good people who are able and capable of helping me to remember me and to act accordingly for my instant and miraculous lifting. Just as you did to Joseph and Mordecai. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, make kings, senators, 
and those that matter remain sleepless until they have remembered and resolved to work for my lifting. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, let me wake up in the morning discovering that my status and position have been miraculously changed and transformed like in the cases of Joseph, Esther, and Mordecai. In the name of Jesus Christ, thank you, Father, because I know you will do it. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen.